Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a 3D model of crown gear in Autodesk Inventor software. So let's get started. Go to new, take a standard part in millimeter and go to create. Now from here go to 2D sketch and select the exit plane. Rotate the view. Go to circle command and from this center point make one circle and make another circle from same center point go to dimension here give this outer circle a diameter of 365 mm and the inner circle will be of dia 205 mm okay. now finish sketch and go to extrude command take the inner profile and Flip the direction to direction 2 and give this distance as 52 mm. Okay. Now select this top face, go to create sketch, go to circle command. From this center point, make one circle here of dia 265 mm. Go to 3D model, extrude. Extrude this face. So we will cut this face. So go to cut. Here take a cutting dimension as 35 m, 31 mm. This will be the cutting depth of 31 mm. And okay. Now in this profile, go to front. As you can see, it is in a taper form. So we will make a taper profile over here. Go to origin. Select the XY plane, go to create sketch, go to view, visual style, change it to wireframe. Here, or this side, any side you can make, go to sketch, go to line command, and here, from this point, first go to home, project the profiles, project this circle, and project this circle and project this bottom circle front view now go to line command here from this point make one close profile just like to give a chamfer now go to arc command select the center point arc select this as center point first point and this will be second point go to dimension here the angle will be of 10 degree and here the radius will be of 22 ok now go to line command close this profile also join here and join here now escape select the projected geometries the yellow lines make them construction select this also make it construction ok only these two profiles will be left now go to line command, make a center line here, escape, select this, make it construction, select this line, make it center line, ok. Go to 3D model, revolve and here select both the profiles, first and second and here go to cut, go to axis selection and select this center line as axis or rotation you can see the red profiles will be the cut profiles go to view visual style back to shaded edges now you can see the cut profiles are being made this will be the cut profiles and press ok ok now here go to uh, select this edge go to fill it here give a fillet radius of 10 mm and ok select this edge go to chamfer give a chamfer of 2 mm and ok ok now we will make the tooth profile for tooth profile we will make a taper uh, plane over here 
so we'll active the sketch the revolve one sketch sketch three activate it or turn on the visibility now with reference to the sketch go to plane select this line and select this face okay now you can see on this face a taper a plane has been made okay now select this plane go to create sketch rotate the view rotate the view till here okay now go to r command and select three point arc make one arc profile over here now escape now rotate the view and select this bottom straight line and go to project vector okay and escape uh, finish sketch and select the sketch 3 and turn off its visibility okay only this projected geometry will be left double click sketch 4 and here go to horizontal constraint select the center line or the center point of this arc and center point of this geometry go to coincident select here center point of this line and center point of this arc okay go to dimension the radius of this arc will be of 100 mm okay and this horizontal distance will be of 35 mm and this distance will be of 15 mm okay now finish sketch and rotate the view rotate the view with the help of shift now we'll make a new sketch a new plane so go to plane select this point and select this curve okay we don't require this bigger plane select this plane one right click and turn off its visibility okay now select this plane go to create sketch here go to the line command make one profile first a tooth profile like this now escape go to dimension the total height will be of 15 mm and here this distance will be of 13 mm and this bottom distance of 3.5 mm okay now go to horizontal constraint select this point and select this point so the center points will be aligned now skip go to line command and make a line here of 3 mm escape select this line make it a construction geometry so this is only a reference line now here go to project geometry rotate the profile and project this point skip select coincident select this point and select this point so the profile will be made till here go to 3d model take sweep command so for sweeps this profile has been selected for path select this path okay from here go to cut and okay so a tooth profile will be made here you can see here a tooth profile now you want don't want this plane to select this plane to right click turn off its visibility okay now we want to pattern this so first go to fillet command here take a fillet radius of 0 0.75 select all the edges this edge this edge and this edge okay now zoom out and here go to circular pattern select this sweep one and fill it two go to rotation axis and select this inner profile go to home here take a count of 48 the filling angle will be 360 degree and okay now 
this is made now we will make the mounting holes so we have made this profile now we will make this mounting holes for mounting holes select this face go to create sketch go to circle command from this center point make a circle of dia 222 mm okay escape select this circle make it a construction geometry so this will be the pcd pitch circle dia now go to point command make one point here escape as you can see this point is in a moving form so go to horizontal constraint select this point okay take the vertical constraint select this point and select this point okay now this is fully defined sketch finish sketch now go to hole command here we will take a tabbed hole the seat will uh, we will take no seat type will be isometric profile size of 12 mm so the design will be m12 into 1.5 1.5 will be the pitch of the thread okay now the depth will be 24 mm and this will be 31.3 okay so it is uh, what we want is a through hole so we have taken a 31.3 which can pass through this okay now press okay so you can see the thread profile inside now we will make a circular pattern so go to circular pattern select hole 1 go to rotation axis and select this uh, curve profile as rotation of axis okay here take a count of 16 and okay so here you can see all holes are of m12 this will be the top profile okay now we will assign the uh, appearance from here you can give it a chrome polished so the chrome polished will take chrome polished okay to make it no uh, visibility more clear open the shadow and reflection will be also on so this was a basic tutorial to how to generate a crown gear in autodesk inventor software i hope you like the video if you do that please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you